Rodney Ray Moore, and I'm the founder and director of the Exodus Mandate Project, which is really owned by Frontline Ministries, which is not as well known, we're sort of known for the Exodus Mandate Project. The Exodus Mandate is a Christian ministry to encourage and assist Christian families to leave behind public schools or state education for the promised land of Christian education or homeschooling. And additionally, it's our hope and prayer that a fresh obedience by Christian families in educating their children according to biblical commands will be a key for the revival of our families, our churches, and our nation. We've been operating uh, under that name since 1997. Uh, I'm a retired Army chaplain and have over 30 years of pastoral experience as either a congregational pastor, a uh, Army chaplain, or director of a Christian ministry. But very importantly, my wife and I have over a 30 year history of involvement in K 12 Christian schooling or homeschooling, and that's uh, really what uh, we are about <coughs> today. And we've been a leader uh, in the nation in the aggressive, and I, that key is a key word, the word aggressive promotion of Christian education and homeschooling for about 10 or 11 years. And we've also uh, been concerned uh, that some of the larger uh, Christian ministries and organizations have not been clearly uh, also supportive of the need for churches, families, and uh, children to be educated in Christian schools of homeschooling. And so I've uh, decided to publish a report card on the performance of, of these, uh, some of these organizations. This is not a complete list. This is some of the, the main organizations. We know we're in a crisis moment in American history for the church and the nation. Just looking only at the political and cultural situation, and I don't want to be specific about that I think you all know what we're talking about and as I said in the uh, in the news release these organizations have been valiantly fighting the culture war and suffered terrible defeats they have not been able to arrest or reverse the moral and cultural slide in this country by protests lobbying voting and legislative remedies it's time for them to revisit this methodology and ask themselves, is there a biblical model for spiritual and cultural renewal? First of all, let me say that we're not against, that we don't skew any political activities. We think there's a place for that. We just think it has great limitations and an ability to reverse and change the moral uh, course of this country. So we have the report card, and uh, I think most of you have, have that in front of you, and let me get, have a few minutes to talk about the methodology and how we went about this. If you look at the grading on the front side, you'll see the grades, and then on the back side, we have the list of the graders, who they are, and a little bit about, about them, and how we selected these ministries. Basically, these are the ministries that have family, in their name or education is one of their mission or objectives in some way, direct or indirectly, and these have been strongly engaged in the culture war. Also, some of these organizations are youth oriented as well. And we looked at their influence and the impact on our agenda over the last uh, really decade. We've been looking at this for about a decade. Um, the 10 we had six raiders, uh, two of which were professional educators. Uh, I was one of the raiders. I'm a pastor or a minister and not a professional educator, but uh, I've been an educator with my own children and working in the education arena for, for quite a while, since said over 30 years. Um, we had two additional unlisted red raiders uh, who we can't name, but they one was a, as a professional and one of the leading world youth uh, men in the country. He sort of checked our work after we completed to be sure we had a, a check on the checkers or a raider on the raiders. <laughs> and uh, so we felt confident of, of what we had come up with. We evaluated articles, uh, letters, books, um, some books, web pages, and uh, generally, uh, you know, over a period of time. And some of us have actually been members or participated within these organizations ourselves. And I, I know many of the leaders of these organizations personally, you know, being in some organizations with them. 
And I'll also say that uh, it pains me to have to put this report card out because I do admire and respect many of these people greatly, and I would say some are actually friends or acquaintances. And uh, we have not held back in the past in, in discussing our concerns with them. Um, I'm in some organizations with some of these people. We've given them books, tracts, we've written them, we've talked to them one-on-one, -on -one, and we've talked with a lot of their staff, their uh, secondary staff, urging them that they had to pick up the Christian education mission in a, in a more intentional way. And, and they really haven't listened, in, in my opinion, very well. Uh, the report card has nine uh, categories, rating categories, and these uh, are ones that we, th we feel we have drawn from Scripture. Uh, they're not explicitly Scripture uh, statements, but they are implicit arguments that think what the Bible teaches in the area of Christian education. And uh, so we basically, it's sort of our agenda, uh, but it's not ours alone. There's a number of smaller, medium-sized Christian education and homeschool ministries that would share a lot of our ideas, and I am only speaking for our organization today, but we feel that there's a number of groups that are uh, would be supportive of what we're doing. Um, we think that one of the main failure of the organizations, and really it's a kind of a failure of the church, is that uh, many Christians have not yet come to believe that uh, there is an explicit biblical theology of Christian education, and uh, the scripture teaches Christian education is sort of a a norm for, for Christian behavior. So we think uh, public schooling is not a, a norm or a Christian uh, behavior for obedient Christians. Uh, these same ministries, to their credit, have uh, supported Christian worldview very strongly. This is one of their, to their credit. And we feel that many of their members have outstripped them by taking a Christian worldview teaching to its logical conclusion and have gone into homeschooling or Christian schooling. We offer a plan to help reverse this failing culture. We think one of the items will be a return to Christian education, homeschooling, Christian schooling. If these major ministries don't reverse themselves, I don't think history is going to treat them very kindly, that they have failed in the moment of the critical moment of history. They would have failed when they, uh, not to take care of their children. What can you say about a church or an organization that will not care and protect its own children? I think that we offer uh, with a report card, and if, if, if they will listen, <coughs> this is an opportunity for many of these organizations to redeem themselves and recover their spiritual and moral leadership in the country. Uh, not to completely askew political action, but I would urge maybe a year sabbatical uh, <coughs> Would might, might be a good idea, and let's all concentrate in all of our churches, organizations, and ministries on saving our children this year. 